key issue we always face, especially in greater Accra region, are floods. And so I'm thinking, as an institution, what are your recommendations to political parties? What key policy can they put in place in their manifesto that can help us address this issue? Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Um, yes, flooding is an issue in, in, in Accra here and in other places in, in the country. We currently hear that the North is getting flooded also mm. for, for, for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, we need to put in uh, flood attenuation uh, uh, programs. Uh, they are ongoing programs. There's a Garrick program going on already and it appears to have all the elements of what it needs to be done. Mm. We've left a lot of things too late uh, because one of the key things is to, there are places which are prone to flooding and they should be led as flood plains so that water can be retained so that they are released gradually so that you don't flood the bigger places, the, the city center and things like that. But unfortunately we have developed a lot of those places. But still the, this program is trying to salvage what is left and, uh, and leave those places. And uh, our prayer is that these programs get implemented the way they've been uh, designed. Uh, the other thing is we, 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 line, we, we are too quick to line big drains, especially when they are on the upstream. The more lining you put into drains, the, the faster the water travels, then it gets into a door and flat the crack. Uh, the other thing is that we are also paving too much our houses. It's urban development. <coughs> uh, we are supposed to leave green spaces in our environment, in our houses and things, so our water will go into the ground and charge our aquifers. But now somebody builds a house and he puts terrazzo in his house. Mm. And the water falls to the roof, onto the terrazzo, and straight onto the street. <coughs> and that goes, comes straight to Odor or Peishi or anything and floods the place. So, so and it, it's just because somebody is not enforcing the regulations on how you should develop your whole home. Mm. You cannot build a home and put terrazzo on every space in your house. No, it's against the law. And that's the job of the district assembly. That's yeah. the job of the district yeah. assemblies. And if they are getting these things done properly and getting people to just uh, respect the zoning regulations, then we are carrying off less water, uh, some of the water. Now, the other way is also rain harvesting. Mm. If people can harvest some of the rain that falls on their roof and put it into the tanks in their houses. Again, it's part of the flood attenuation processes. So it's not everything about building drains. In fact, most of the time when you build drains, you are making the water carriage more efficient. And when you make it more efficient, that means it's going downstream where there's not adequate capacity to flood. <laughs> so, so the district assemblies and the government system should uh, ensure that these things happen. And the, the, these are, the, the, there's no two ways about that. The rains will continue to fall mm. uh, and uh, the water will be carried if we don't store them, if we don't allow it to go into the ground and it will flood. And uh, we can throw a lot of money at these things, but if we don't do all the small, small pieces, put them together, then the people at the downstream end will continue to suffer. Mm.